Maka, maka, and welcome back to another video! Oh my goodness, today is going to be the most special day ever in my entire life, probably aside from maybe like my birth or like my first kiss or something like that. I am so excited because as you guys can see in the thumbnail, we are going to Arcadia Bay. I, this has been kind of something that I've dreamed of and wanted to do ever since I really got into Life is Strange. As you guys know, if you've been part of this channel for like more than five minutes, since I'm always talking about that game. Um, I have always really loved the atmosphere of the place. I've loved the aesthetic and just the feel of it. And I've always wanted to kind of go there, but it's a video game world and that doesn't really, you know, the video game stuff doesn't exist in the real world. But I did a little bit of research and it turns out Arcadia Bay is actually based on a place called Garbali? Garbiali? I don't even know what the crap it's called, but it's actually based on a place. Now, no, it's based on it. It's not going to be pinpoint for pinpoint, everything is the same. But I want to visit some of the same places. I hear or I've seen the lighthouse is real. I know that there's a railroad there that I really want to check out. And where the um, downtown is or where the Two Whales is, um, the cafe and you know that entire area on the coast, that's actually where me and my roommate are staying. So I'm really, really excited to get going. But we need to freaking go because as you can see, I'm late and my friend said he was going to leave me if I wasn't ready in the next four minutes. And that was like eight minutes ago. So I'm going to take off. I'm so excited that you guys get to come along with me. And let's go to Arcadia Bay. I'm so excited. Are you really ready for a trip? A trip? A trip? I'm so excited. It's going to be so much fun. This is George. This is the guy that was in my... Um, creeping in my room. Do you guys remember that one um, time when he was in the background on my bed? That means absolutely nothing. Don't worry. Are you excited? Are you ready to freaking go? He's very excited on the inside, but I'm excited on the outside and on the freaking inside. All right, we are on our way. Um, this is kind of like the road trip to Washington, but it's not really going to be the same. I am going to show you guys a little bit of the drive, but let's get real. Washington and Oregon are basically the same areas. We're driving, it's gonna take us like four and a half hours um, ish. We should get there around four, four or five, I think. But um, yeah, I'm just letting you guys know because I'm the next thing that you're gonna see is gonna be the sickest montage ever. But here we go road trip. Tempest has calmed. If you can see, it's snowing inside the car. No one asked me for dances because I only know how to flail. I always sit like I'm drowning, dead arms around him. I'd rather stand still, hold tightly to the walls. No care, no care in the world. No care, no care in the world. I don't care, I don't care anymore. I don't care, I don't care. Guys, I'm literally freaking out right now. We're not, we're like an hour away still, but like, I don't, I can't switch it. Look around. Look at all this stinking beauty. Like, I just told George, I'm kind of like getting the beauty that I'm seeing around me intertangled with the like, I'm headed to, literally headed to Arcadia Bay, and it's freaking me out. I am very sorry to um, tease you with all of the amazingness that is happening, but outside it is 100% dark. So I can't really show you guys anything of the town tonight because I won't even be able to see anything of the town tonight. See, look, look how dark it is outside. Freaking, you can't see anything. But tomorrow, bright and early, I'm gonna be up, I'm gonna be going and doing stuff. It's going to be amazing. Um, so I hope that you guys are ready. I'm sorry that I can't really do a bunch of stuff tonight, but we got here a little bit later than I expected and all this stuff. But anyway, um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Me and George are gonna go eat and um, probably get home and literally watch TV. We're not gonna do a whole bunch of stuff. 
So I'll see you guys tomorrow night. Good morning, Arcadia Bay! Ah! Today is the day that you have all been waiting for. We are going to explore basically the main sites of Life is Strange. Something I didn't notice last night, if you'll come with me and look freaking right over here, do you see this little town right here? That's actually Arcadia Bay. And it turns out last night when I showed you guys in our room where we were staying and everything, um, the hotel that we stayed in was actually the Two Whales. Um, if you guys have watched the playthrough, the Two Whales is the like diner, but it doesn't actually exist. But where we stayed is the like location of where the Two Whales was, whatever. It was super cool and it was super amazing. But today we have a lot of fun stuff planned. Um, first, where we're going to go right now is we're going to head to the junkyard and find the railroad that um, is kind of the vocal point of the entire um, story of Life is Strange, where everybody all knows the stinking, oh, cute little hand holds me and everything. Secondly, we are going to go northwest by south. I don't know which way that is, but we're going to head that way, and we are going to go check out Chloe's house. It's a little bit of ways. It's not actually where Arcadia Bay is or where Garibaldi is, but that's where we're going to head to next. And lastly, we are going to go check out the lighthouse today. Hopefully it will be around sunset, hopefully it will be beautiful, and hopefully it will be amazing. But that's the plan. Um, it's going to be a little bit more serious throughout the day when I'm going to all these places because it kind of holds a more sentimental part of my heart. As you can see, I look like thinking a rock star. I tried to get my Chloe vibe going on today. But it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm excited to take you guys along for the ride. So let's go! Hola, Maka Maka. I doubt that PJ will put this in the video, but if he does, I love you all. Even though I haven't met most of you, maybe just a couple friends. It's been a great journey out here. I'm freaking cold though. But PJ's up there enjoying his time. Hashtag laugh is strange. Hashtag we love the eagle. Hashtag think light thoughts. Shadows settle on the place that you left Our minds are troubled by the emptiness Destroy the middle, it's a waste of time From the perfect start to the finish line and if you're still breathing, you're the lucky ones. Okay, so this is the junkyard. Um, it's super cool. I'm not gonna go like explore everything inside because it is private property. And obviously it's not the same. All the stuff that we saw in the game is not, you know, tick for tack, the exact same as the game. And that's fine because this is, I get to go and I get to see the real stuff in the game that was in the game in real life. So. Junkyard, you know, it's just a regular junkyard, but it's just the fact that it's inspired in the game and somewhere that means a lot to me is insane. Even the railroad, like the railroad freaking right next to it. If you look right there, there's the thing, the lever that I pulled right here to save Chloe from getting run over by the train. Like, this is the place, but in real life. So anyway, next we're gonna check out Chloe's house. That might get a little bit more illegal, but let's see. Do it. Oh, I got a stamp for the train. I don't know what I'm saying. I got a, a train rail freaking thumbtack. Thumbtack. A car Arcadia Bay Railroad. Go to the zone, box. It's a nail. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we are here. Well, it's actually Rebels Court. It is over there to the back. So I haven't looked at it yet. I don't know. Now, obviously, this is not um, going to be exactly the house that was in the game, but this is where this is the place. This is the place where it said, oh, this house, this place looks cool, this place is That's so new.
Isn't it beautiful? I think it's gorgeous. Look at all this. Look at that. It's crazy. Crazy. It looks beautiful, though, dude. My chest, and if you're in love, then you are the lucky one. Cause most of us are bitter over someone. We're at the beach, and it's super cold, but it's super beautiful. See, but it's literally put it on the vlog, homies. <laughs> it's so cold, like. I, my, I don't know, my hands are like, I don't think you can tell. There's like red spots on them, but it's super cool. It looks really nice out here. The coast is freaking beautiful, not gonna lie. So we made a little stop off. Wanna guess where? In Freezy Lake Town. Please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. Good job, PJ. Um, yeah, so we made a stop, we're on our on our way and we found this like little we found a nice little river place so george is gonna go take a dip touch it tell us how cold it is touch it oh <laughs> oh my god <laughs> stop touching it now you're gonna die he has to drive us home so yeah it's very very nice very very nice there's, there's, as you can see, there's stinking snow here. It's freezing cold, but we're gonna take some dope pictures and then get on our way. Bask! Okay, you guys, this is the moment that you have officially been waiting for, that basically everyone has been waiting for. This is the lighthouse that was in Life is Strange. Now, I saw some stuff online and it is going to be a little smaller and not the same, but I'm still super excited for the view and for everything um, to come. But anyway, without further ado, let's do this thing. What I think is going to happen is the lighthouse will be around over here and it will be out looking basically from everything that you guys have seen. Um, when Chloe and Max was up there, when Rachel and Chloe was up there, basically anytime there's been a lighthouse scene, this is where the point has been. <sighs> I don't know what to expect, um, but it's going to be super awesome. I'm really excited. Life is Strange started out as just kind of an idea, something fun I could do for the channel. Maybe it would be, you know, funny to make decisions, but it became something so much more really quickly. I became really attached to the characters, their lives, and I really felt like I was part of that world. But it was always just a game. I'd never be able to take wowzer pictures with Max, and I'd never be able to hug Chloe but then I found this place. The game may not have been real, but the heart of it was. The passion and the spirit behind everything is out there in the world. And I got to experience it, and I knew that I could not let this moment pass without making the most of it. This is literally it. This right here is where Max stood looking at Sunset. Like, this is literally it. You don't understand. We literally made it to Arcadia Bay! Oh my god, this is insane! Oh. We made it, guys. We freaking made it. You know what? I guess there's no better way to end it than this. Um, this has been a crazy experience. I'm so glad that I got to come with George and experience this. Um, kind of dream of mine, but it's been an amazing treat. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, I also hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, go ahead and leave a like. If you're not already, please do subscribe. And I will see all of you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.